Operation Barbosa, the third event released in about two months. You see, first you had the German event, the Battle of Berlin, which the Soviets won. And then you had the British event, the Battle of Dunkirk, which the Americans won. Stay with me here. Now you have this Soviet event, where the Germans are supposed to win. And they start with 11 of 15 capitals needed to win the war. And double the stockpile. Like I said, believe it or not, this is actually a Soviet-focused event, except they couldn't even name it Battle of Stalingrad. In a move that was applauded by most, Ritu have decided to remove the 10 times XP multiplier on the war victory ribbon during this event. Psych, just kidding. Not only is it still on, but it's also the new standard, and will now be there even after the event is over. After the massive success of the toilet paper G43 skin introduced in the Dunkirk event, which was reportedly selected by over 15 players, choosing it over the Garand skin, Ritu have decided to not even bother with skins at all this event. So they just gave us double XP for all war battles. Which is actually a really good thing for any players crazy enough not to jump on a German bandwagon, since the underdog bonus is pretty much always over 100% for both Soviets and the US. LMGs received a massive buff, and bipods were tweaked and pretty much fixed. Now when you deploy the bipods you can definitely see the difference. Way more accurate even at range with little to no recoil, depending on the build that you're using and regardless of the weapon itself. Same thing goes to the accuracy and recoil of all LMGs without using bipods. Starting with the tier 1 LMGs, I tested a bit with the BER and the DP28. They both seemed a lot better after the update. While the DP28 seemed like it was almost identical to how it was before bipods were added. As for the tier 2 LMGs, MG1919 and MG42, I was able to use both with the old meta build, going with full rate of fire with no tie grip, and they were great. Although the old spray and pray tactics will probably get you killed. Now it's all about those short controlled bursts and they are deadly for both of these weapons. Same thing goes when the bipods are deployed, they become way more accurate and have little to no recoil. Here is me playing with the same build I just made a video about and you can see clearly the difference when you deploy the bipod. As for the tier 3 LMGs, I did try the Johnson after the latest update. It seems like the Johnson will now be most effective in CQC. I also tried bursting with it and it's not as effective as the 1919 or the MG42. Also I've noticed that the further away your target is, the more the iron sights start to become an issue. I didn't get to test with the FG42 since I don't own it, but I would expect it would be similar to the Johnson. If you got to test it, then please let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Ammo and health crates resupplying got buffed, and although the changelog doesn't really specify how, after testing I've realized that you no longer need to keep looking in the direction of the crate to keep resupplying. You just need to look at it to start resupplying, and then you can just look anywhere you want. I really don't understand this one, like why add it in the first place? But yet again, it wouldn't be the strangest thing ever added to this game. Take driving for instance, did you know that driving on the train tracks is easier than driving on the dirt roads and you actually move faster? Last but not least, Ritu added the option to skip the map animation into a battle if it has already started, to avoid delaying players getting into combat. Just see how useful it was for me when I finally got into a war battle queuing as a para for almost half an hour. Please with me after this incredible game and a great start from you guys really just showing us how it's done. Oh. Oh. Oh no. You're closing us up. Ah. No, 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 no. You fucking bitch. Overall, this update seems to have fixed most of the issues with bipods, but with the sound still broken, I can't help but wonder when will Ritu get their priorities right? I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.